In today's video, we're gonna talk about my top five catalysts and why you should be focusing on them. Hey everyone, lead trainer with Stocks to Trade, Tim Bowen here. Be sure to subscribe to our videos and get notified as soon as a new one hits. Today, we're gonna to talk about my top five favorite catalysts and really focus on my number one, earnings announcements. Let me know, comment below, do you trade earnings? It's one of the best times to focus as a day trader. Give me a yes or a no, do you trade earnings season and how have you done? We're gonna start out with the top five, beginning with earnings announcements, as I mentioned. Um, I often talk in Stocks to Trade Pro, the mentorship program where I work with a lot of traders. I really think that if you are a new trader, or particularly if you are a part-time trader, focus on earnings season. Stock, all publicly traded stocks have to announce their earnings, release their, their numbers four times a year, quarterly, every three months, they need to announce this data. And then earnings season is spread across about a month, sometimes even five or six weeks, because all of these companies are releasing them staggered. You know, there might be 10 today, 20 tomorrow, 50 tomorrow. So if you think about it, a six week period times four times a year, that's 24 weeks a year that compose earnings season, really. And that's half the year. So if you're a part-time trader looking to try and squeeze this into your time with your school, work, and family, focus on earnings season. And in the, at the end of the day, it's almost half the year, and then you can take care of your other business when it's not earnings season. Now, why do I like earnings so much? They are one of the biggest catalysts that move stocks. Everyone is looking for the next earnings winner. You're looking for those record profits, those record sales, all of these growing numbers. Because remember, when you're buying a stock, you're looking to buy into a growing company, something that's going to increase their revenue, increase their sales, increase the value of the company, which then takes your stock from five to six to seven to 10, or whatever that price is. So earnings are my number one favorite catalyst. I'm always scanning for those earning stocks that are up on volume, up more than 5% a day, focus on them. My second favorite catalyst is the contract winners and the new product announcements. Many, many of these stocks are what you would call speculative companies. Um, you might not see earnings results for six months, a year, sometimes even multiple years. I mean, if it's a, if it's a biotech stock, they might not be profitable for years down the road. Doesn't mean you can't make money today. Many of these companies will announce a new product, they might give lofty goals and lofty aspirations, but still that gives day traders something to sink their teeth into and bid these stocks up. So we've seen many in the past, they might uh, announce a new electric car or a battery technology or a new green technology or even uh, something that's very hot the last year or so, 2018, 2019, is these cannabinoid products. We've seen a ton of them where they, they, many of these companies might have a new CBD drink. Uh, oddly enough, we had a, a company today, this this will tell you about new product announcements, they have a, a CBD makeup. Uh, may sound funny, stock ran 30% today. So there are opportunities to make on those contract wins or contract announcements announcements as well as new product announcements. The third catalyst that I love, and this creates some of the biggest opportunities, are the FDA announcements um, and clinical trials. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, many of these biotechs, these medical companies, their profits are projected way out in the future. So it's very difficult to trade these companies based on the, the fundamentals, whether or not they're profitable, whether or not they have cash in the bank. But when they hit those goals, those phase one, phase two, phase three, that that gives you a high likelihood that this company will be successful in the future. And that's the core of stock trading. You're buying the stock today because you, it's worth X today and you think it's gonna be worth Y down the road. And clinical trials and FDA announcements move stock 
rocks and move them over days, weeks, even years sometimes. Now, you need to be fully versed in all of these phase one, phase two, phase three trials, but when you're scanning for that news, look for those keywords because they can create big moves. Catalyst that I use every day. Stocks to Trade has a built-in Twitter screener. It's a great tool to look for these stocks that are moving, and it's a great way to find the news fast. Um, the nice thing about Twitter, I use it as like a, I call it like a hive mind. I've got all my scanners in Stocks to Trade, but sometimes you can't see everything. I've got eight monitors, but you can still miss some things. Great thing about Twitter is that you can use all of the other traders out there posting links and articles. So it's a great way to get the news first, but also we do run into what they call like the Twitter pump these days. Sounds bad. I know, I know the pump and dump has kind of a negative connotation attached to it, but the great thing about a pump and dump is you can make money on the front side going long and shorting on the back side. And we see that these days where traders have big followings and they start moving stocks around. You need to be cautious, but it is a viable trading strategy, especially on the short side. Um, there's several prominent short sellers out there that post their positions on Twitter, and when that tweet hits, you'll see 10, 20% moves right away. You gotta be quick, you gotta be agile, but you can use Twitter as a catalyst. And again, one of my favorite catalysts is the technical breakout. That is uh, strictly based on the chart. So the first four criteria I gave you were what you would call fundamental type plays. Uh, uh, earnings, news, contract wins, all of those things. When we're looking for screeners and stocks to trade, we can scan for these stocks that are breaking key levels, whether that be a one day high, a one week high, a one year high, but that lights up everybody's screener, brings everybody in because people love breakouts. That tells you that the stock is getting ready to make new highs. So keep in mind, stocks to trade is a great way to do that. We have built-in screeners that can find your breakouts, you can create your own custom screener to find those breakouts and technical moves are a great way to make profits both short term as well as long term. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to comment below with any trading related question. We love answering your questions. Also, like and share with your friends and be sure to subscribe to be notified as soon as our next video hits. And if you're looking to expand your trading knowledge, don't forget to check out all of our other videos and be sure to click the trial below. Check out Stocks Trade. I think it is one of the best, most rapidly advancing softwares out there. Be sure to check out our trial.